Hi, I'm Stingley Academy Senior Jordan McFeeders. The second semester has begun and we're up and running in 2012. I've got a few events to recap from the end of last year and some more recent ones from after the break. This is District Details. Two local businesses recently partnered with Dezavala Middle School. The new partners in education are State Farm, the local insurance company, and Quality Act. The urban-based company specializes in alternative certification for teachers. Both of these new partners have committed to volunteering time and resources to the teachers and students at the middle school to help enhance the learning experience. Airline employees help to enhance learning in every classroom as they work hand-in-hand -hand with students at Barton Elementary School, teaching them the importance of education, finance, and setting career goals. It's all part of the Junior Achievement Program called JA in a Day. American Airlines employees have been visiting Barton annually on behalf of the Junior Achievement for the past seven years. Attending a black belt in karate takes years of dedication, and some Bowie middle schoolers are moving up through the ranks in the Kickstart program. Martial arts legend Chuck Norris was on hand at Bowie for the Kickstart Belt Ceremony. Kickstart is the nonprofit organization adopted by Irving ISD with a mission to build strong moral character in our youth through martial arts. Already achieving in high school and looking forward to their future careers in the discussion, some career and technical education students had with a group of local business leaders. The conference is called Leadership North Texas and highlights Irving ISD career and technical education programs, geared towards giving students hands-on career experience while they are in high school. The intent is to give the business community a first-hand look at how Irving ISD is preparing its students to be a part of the future workforce. Business leaders, Irving ISD employers, board members, and community members spend a morning in various classrooms at Davis Elementary School taking time to sit and read books with the kids just before the winter break. With a chance to relax in their pajamas, students at Davis look forward to this annual day of celebrity reading. Some third grade Arkansas Razorback fans got a special visit earlier this month from the chancellor of the university, Dr. David Gearhart and the school's mascots. The football team was in town for the Cotton Bowl and this special guest stopped by this particular classroom at Schultz Elementary School because they have adopted Arkansas as their college for part of the No Excuse University program. The Chancellor spoke about the importance of college and urged the kids to root for the Hogs against Kansas State. I guess it worked because Arkansas won the game. Irvin ISD unveiled their new accountability system at a recent press conference. It's called the Balanced Scorecard. This online scorecard is intended to map out the goals and achievements of different departments within Irvin ISD and share this information with the public. It's part of the new overall initiative to align the district and become more transparent to the community. Thank you for joining me for this New Year's edition. I'm Jordan McFeeders, and this is District Details. Hi, this is Coach Avery Johnson. Irving ISD is diverse, inspiring, and successful.